Dr. Chol Kim here with the exciting blue team, A team. These are my peeps. We have a very special patient. This is a 73 year old winery owner, owns two wineries from Plymouth, California. I think that's in Northern California. But here's the cool thing. He's the brother of one of my neurosurgery colleagues who came here as a visiting surgeon to watch me do minimum basis of fusion surgery. That was in 2016, and now his brother needs some surgery. He's got back pain and right groin pain. He's got an L3-4 spondy. And then at L2-3, he's got a multifocal disc herniation with a foraminal disc bulge and severe right L2 foraminal stenosis. We had a long discussion about treatment options. 3-4 needs to be fused. 2-3 uh, mainly needs a decompression, but there's a lot of concern about adjacent level degeneration. And I get it, I agree. Maybe doing just one surgery, never looking back, is a very good strategy. And we decided that for his brother, he thinks the 2-3, three, 3-4 three, millimasive teeth up is perfect for him. So we're going to do a perfect job so he can get back to it. So wish me luck. Not only do I teach, I get customers. I'm going to be extra gentle because this is the brother of one of my visiting surgeons for the Skin to Skin program. And I can't tell you how cool that is because that just shows that I guess he liked it. I've trained almost 200 visiting surgeons now. One surgeon at a time, or two at the most. How cool is that? That's in addition to all the courses that I teach where it's a lot more surgeons, but the skin to skin program is my thing. So I have to do the perfect job. Oh, I feel two facet joints right there. Nav dilator, oh, let's keep the mess down because you know how opinionated neurosurgeons can be. Here you go. That's that facet joint. Gently releasing all the tendons through the San Francisco twirl. <laughs> it looks brutal, but I'm being oh so gentle, I promise, I swear. So this is new since 2016, where I use, I'm pretty sure, instead of the jam sheety needle, a navigated drill to create the perfect entry point, and then a custom straight cutting pedicle sound to get it right down the pike. It's extra wide so that the entry point's about four millimeters. It's basically a bigger thoracic probe, but we like to call it the San Diego hole widener because it's so much easier to say. Yeah. All part of the facet fusion. Good bone! Woo, that's a good bite. Next group. Oh, that's a good bite too. Okay, sexiest cage alive. It is a real 15 degree lordosis, 12 wide, big graph window, smooth contoured edges, 3D printed, a pretty, pretty yellow, and it expands from 7 to 14. Think about that. It's almost obscene. And we like putting in big implants because big is better in this case. Smidge in more. It is advancing. Sexiest cage alive number two. La, 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 la. Should we put on the song? Just saying. We have a special song when I put this cage in. Look at this thing. Look at this. It's almost obscene. I could keep going, but. My wrist is getting tired and I want to save myself and want to expand the cage into this case. There's our song. Bulleted tip, rounded 3D printed uh, edges, massive bone graph window which backfill. 
12 wide, 10 to 17. It's almost not right. Exactly how I want to feel when you took this game. You're about to start shooting, so just grab the yeah. mallet toe. Mallet And then high. Now you can go ahead and bounce. Bounce, bounce. Bounce, bounce. It's Oh, surgery's all done. We did it through those two little incisions. Look how small that is. It's so cute. Water resistant dressing. That's the navigation tracking pin. I think that incision's only about an inch and a half now. And the surgery went really well. And you gotta check out the before versus after x rays because. He's going to be a lot taller too.